friends, welcome back. I thought we would start it off easy and do something we all have at home, paper. It can be any kind of paper. This is lined paper that I have. Let's make some snowflakes. Um, you can use newspaper, old magazines, mailers, leftover wrapping paper, tissue paper. You can use anything. So I'm going to use this that I have. It's two-sided. I don't know, just for fun. Why not? So your first thing, now mind you, oh, I can't use this. Never mind. I will use a piece of plain white. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to line it up in a diagonal. So you take your paper and you fold it into a, tr a triangle with a rectangle at the end. So you see what I did? Okay. Then you take your triangle part and you fold it in half again. Just like this. You have kind of a funny little house. Then you take your scissors and you cut this rectangle off. You can use it later to make mini snowflakes if you'd like, but or you can just throw it away or use it for something else. Then you fold your triangle one more time. So you have a line. Okay? So you have this kind of triangle. Now open it back up. Then you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it just over the middle. Like that. over the middle. Cool? Then you're going to take the other side, the whole thing, and you're going to match it up. So you have what looks like a funny little fox. Like this. Okay? And you have one side that has a straight edge. Just cut all these ears off. you are ready. Now this part, you can do a lot of things with it. I'm going to make a series of these and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take my pen because you absolutely can write and I'm going to do a big V from here to here. And I'm going to do a funny V from here to here, a nice wide one. And then I'm going to do a small V right here and right here. How's that? What do you think of that? Remember, you can do anything, but you want to keep it open on one side because you're going to cut these out. So you don't want to draw something in the middle you have to cut out. You want everything to be able to be cut from the edge. Okay? Now you don't want to cut, see this fold line? You don't want to cut it all off because this is what will hold your snowflake together. Okay. Oh, my pen. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut my V's. Please be very careful because this is a big thick fold so it's a little more challenging. Does it have to be perfect? Nope. Why? Because it's just fun. There we go. Now we're going to cut this V. You could even use coffee filters if your parents have any left over from the old days before Keurig cups. There we go. I'll cut these V's out. And this one, I'm being very careful because I'm not wanting to cut this edge right here. 
because this is what will hold it together. Close. That was, that was a near miss. Okay, so now you're looking at this kind of shape. It's just weird, and that's okay. So now let's open it. Open it very carefully, because remember your paper is very thin now, right? So opening it very carefully. Very carefully. These are these are sharp points, but you can do more circular shapes if you'd like. Rounded shapes. There are patterns you can find on Pinterest or on Google to find different ways to cut different kinds. But look at that! It's our snowflake. So go forth and have fun making snowflakes and decorating for winter rather than for the holidays. Chat soon.